be slow, not fast. Okay. Sharon volunteered to do the minutes, but we're going to need a minute taker. So she's going to do it tonight. Thank yeah. you. Your hand's getting better. No, so I usually wear a splint, but oh, okay. I couldn't get it. We get some tape. It's hard, mm -hmm. too hard to drive too. Yeah. I imagine. Well, thank you, Sharon. Okay. <laughs> Annual meeting, November fourth. Report by attendees. Well, Gentlemen, you you're on. All right. All right, so um, I attended three workshops. The first was the Essentials of a Conservation Commission, which was an introductory workshop for new members to conservation commissions. The second was um, partnering with schools, so for education and volunteer opportunities at the high schools or um, all the schools in town. And the third was addressing easement violations. So during the Essentials for uh, Conservation Commissions, we discussed uh, responsibilities for a commission, powers, um, optional powers, um, and the second one, uh, partnering with schools, was to, made to foster positive relationships with students and the community and um, government and conserv in the Conservation Commission. Um, it would really assist us if we had a good relationship to, like, um, to help complete like an education requirement or recommendation. Um, and it would be a great way for students to apply what they're learning, particularly in earth sciences and biology, or have a, co a community service opportunity, such as with sophomore and senior projects. And I kind of link that to how the Conservation Corps would really be helpful for particularly high school students who need volunteer hours or want to apply what they're learning in uh, earth science and biology. Um, the third was addressing easement violations, so it would be identifying um, a violation and then uh, what the proper uh, procedure was for recording violations and determining if they were actual violations as opposed to uh, potential violations and really the, uh, the conduct that members would take in discussing that with the uh, property owner and ultimately coming to conflict re resolution and uh, working against having to go to the um, extreme which would be going to court. Well did they get into the process of if it was a wetlands violation and it was too big for us to handle that you just you, you, you have a complaint form to New Hampshire DES? Yes, yeah, the state would take it over, yeah. They didn't mention that. Well, we've never had one get to court. Well, one, but we weren't involved in it. And that is, that was my take on the workshop. Okay, so I also attended three uh, workshop as well and we actually went to the first one together and he pretty much nailed the, the points pretty much but just in addition they talked about how RSA 36A was our main governing body like from the state and then they also talked about every five years doing a natural resource inventory mm -hmm. just basically checking out what we have in in town and then you know, I wish I had this to be able to get to work but they had this really cool tool called UNH Granite, and it would actually, yeah, probably most of you guys know, but. Well, I have an update about that, but go ahead. And no, so it just it just lists a lot of different, you know, lands, what, what certain lands are designated as, and just a whole range of everything. Then the second one I went to was actually about getting grants, and this was pretty interesting. It had a lot of different awesome, basically awesome information about it. And it was talking about where to kind of get grants, the process of grants, as well as tips on how to become successful in the application. They told us that the guy would give us notes, or his notes, after the, or after the conference, so I will hopefully be able to get that to you guys all to read, but basically a summary of that is, um, like for instance, to make a successful project, we gotta make sure the project's already fully formed, we need a budget, totally itemized um, partners if we can partner with a local um, organization like Boy Scouts or Boys and Girls Club like that that would usually help in the application process more successful and then um, stuff like that sorry I'm trying to look my notes um, how to go to find grants the state attorney's office actually has filings of charitable organizations it turns out that charitable organizations have to give a certain amount of money every single year to uh, ref to obtain or to keep the status of nonprofit, and so um, basically that's that. But eventually, once the notes come in, I'll give that to you guys. Thank you. No problem.
Thanks for going. Yeah, Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you. Enjoyed it. Good. Thanks for how many uh, people attended? It, it was a good good. They crowd. said it was. They said it was pretty crowded compared yeah. to the years past. Good. Oh, what's this third one here, John? That's the. We decided last month to um, let Matt go ahead and try to get people for the Conservation okay. Corps. Mm -hmm. and we did get one applicant. Do you have a copy of this, Matt? I do. Okay. Yes, I, well, I have it on my um, computer. And um, so Matt can introduce the gentleman in the back. Oh, hang on a second. This is uh, Mr. Andrew Thompson. He is a he applied um, last month. He is interested in working on all conservation areas, and he works as a GIS specialist for an environmental permitting company. He has 10 years of environmental consulting uh, experience with Norman Doe Associates in, based in Medford, New Hampshire, and he has an environmental science and policy degree from Clarkson University. Thank you, Thank you for expressing your interest. So I have a question. Yeah. Um, one of our biggest needs is trail creation and I'm thinking of one particular parcel that was about 60 acres, I think, that has some beginning trails on it, but I think your GIS background would come in helpful to get out there and find the bounds and try to make a trail system on that piece and then get some workers to brush it out. What, how much um, time are you wanting to be involved, time-wise? I'm not too sure right now at this point. Um, I, for my background, I just moved here about three months ago. Um, came from Auburn, New Hampshire, and been looking to get involved with the uh, community and conservation specifically. Um, I, I mean, I right now, are you looking for a weekly or monthly time commitment? Well, since you're the first volunteer, <laughs> <laughs> you tell us what you think. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just to um. Maybe take you around and the other two guys and <coughs> show you where some of these parcels are and get mm -hmm. some ideas. There's also um, in Londonderry they have Londonderry Trailways Committee and they're they've got extensive trails out starting, well mostly all in Londonderry, and they had a lot of um, blowdowns this last storm. So if you like to do chainsaw work, <laughs> get hold of them. But um, I haven't been out to our Bird Street property lately to see. If we had a lot of damage out there, my but, um, son might be interested in doing that. You know, it might be good to get a date where we all can go out. Whoever's yeah. interested in look at the. I was parcels. thinking maybe you know, uh, you know, a weekend or two, you know, a month. Yeah. Thoughts for. Great. Probably, John, if you could, like you said, if you get you know the two new fellows in and himself as well, and mm -hmm. take them on, give them the yeah the, the tour. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Would Jill be good. Tour. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now clean up three A. I I did my section last month. What happened to the rest of the group? Well, let me just um. It's very foggy that morning. Let me just. Do we have your phone number and email on the paper, right? Yes. Sorry. Yes. Okay. Yeah. yeah. What happened when the cleanup was? It was really foggy. Joan forgot she had to be in Manchester at 8 o'clock. <laughs> so one of my bags is still sitting out there. Somebody picked up one. It must have been Jack. <laughs> and, um, the one I didn't so go back and pick it up because it's full of diapers. Uh, oh. Roger and Jack and Matt showed up. Yeah. So you're, not, you're rescheduling before the snow, or are we, uh, what are we scheduling? <laughs> Hard to say now. <laughs> we need a definite head count, I think, before we pick up my calendar again. Um, before we continue on, we're closing camp this weekend. Better put a pipe through the freeze. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't want to say that. It's showing up there, but it's yeah. not oh, yeah. I say once it snows, you won't see it anyway. Right. <laughs> Look clean coming down here. Yeah. <laughs> it was dark. <laughs> yeah. Didn't show it all tonight, eh? Yeah. So, what do we want to do? Wait till spring and do a big walking? One. A big one? Okay. All right. So the cleanup will be in the spring. Mm -hmm. If I uh, that curve by um um I can't think of his name Nancy Hendricks old house who was uh, Mr Frank yeah Kyle Frank mm -hmm. um if I can 
you know, if I see stuff there on that curve, I'll from town hall down try and get it. Right. Mm -hmm. And the and the muster field across the street. Okay. Good. Okay. Possible new project, Jack. Mm. Yes. Um, so I'm currently trying to get that up there, but it's showing up over there. Um, yes. Uh, Do you have the remote control? Yeah. It's okay. there's one in here. Yeah. Here is HDMI one. Oh, we're seeing. Maybe. Maybe. Oh, oh there we go. go. Perfect. Great. All right, so, um, actually, so, whoops, I gotta switch it over here. Yeah, I didn't know we had to type of trees. They're all along the river. We just don't get. Yeah. Okay. I love having the youngest. Yeah. I'd still be fiddling with it. You can't even get your computer to work. Okay. I'm sorry. Right. Oh, sorry, Jack. You're on. Oh, no problem. No, it's good. So I was, um, first I have to ask a question. So do we know how many conservation projects have we done in the past, like, 10 years? Or I don't, I'm not too sure. What do you mean? Pro, pro, well, the fishing guard we've done. Yeah. Okay. yeah. What's cool? And pro, and what do you mean? Well, just in terms around, ten, I don't know, per se. Well, we do cleanup day. We're supposed to do it four times a year. We do, we've been doing the fishing derby every spring. We've, done, we've helped out with a couple of the winter carnivals. Oh, yeah, the winter carnivals. Mm -hmm. And what else? We do a lot of site walks. You know, if the planning board has things going on in the wetlands or the zoning board, we, we do the site walks. We also do the once a year site walk. Oh, yeah, up at um, Stage Crossing. Yeah, some of the, some of the property, property that we have easements on. Different properties, you have to, you have to um, make a presence and, and document it once a year. You worked with the forester and Roger in uh, Morris Falls. Yep. Yeah. Oh, the bunnies. Yeah. And the bunnies. And the bunnies. We still don't have any of those. Yep. New England cottontails? Yes, yeah, New England cottontails. The, yeah. <coughs> the ones that are going to feed the hawks and the <laughs> eagles. And, yeah. Those things are in short supply now. So that's, you know, that's the kind of thing we've been doing. The that's that's yeah. fantastic. That's great. I love to hear. You made but, us uh, think, so we had to think about it. See what yeah, think, <laughs> no, that's, no, that's good. That's been great. busy, but I couldn't think. <laughs> that's good. So, I, um, so after the conference, I got really motivated after seeing a, a lot of other people and what they've done and, and just, well, I just thought I want to bring back from the conference a potential new project that maybe the board might be interested in pursuing. And so, a drum roll, please. It's um, it's it's about birdhouses, okay. and um, for an example, sort of, or sort of like this, similar to that. But um, so basically, that's what this presentation is going to be about. But um, I'm going to have more of an overview. So I'm going to explain what this particular project is going to be, why I want to do this, or why we should do this. How are we going to do this? Where are we going to do this? And when in the cost and funding? So what is this? The project that I thought it would be considered would be building 20 potential birdhouses in Litchfield and put them on specific conservation land mm -hmm. throughout the town. Mm -hmm. Try to try to make more of a better presence for birds, I guess. Mm -hmm. That'd be good. So then why? So like I said before, the conference really got me motivated. I want to help the species of birds, like some of those up there, and then kind of um, kind of help bring, give them some homes and stuff. And then also this would be a great opportunity for the community to get involved as well, and I'll explain that a little later as well. So you're probably asking, how are these going to be built? Well, so as a longtime member of Troop 11, and an Eagle Scout, I'm very good friends with the Boy Scouts and also the crew, the Venture crew. So they, they're always looking for service hours. They're always looking for opportunities to always help out in the community. So they would actually build these birdhouses. And um, I'll explain a little more how that works too. But. So then where? So where are we actually going to get these potential birdhouses or kits? So I did a lot of research. I tried looking online and trying to figure out the best prices and the best quality ones. And then I came up with this great site called the Birdhouse Depot, kind of sort of like that. And um, it's located in Washington State, but they actually have a lot of good other products. But they're actually, uh, the prices are definitely reasonable. 
especially for they, they kind of lean towards more wholesale mm-hmm. goods things. And then where are we going to build these per se, these kits? The Boy Scouts meet at the Presbyterian Church, and so we'd probably do it on one Saturday and kind of assemble them there, pretty much. So when? Probably one Saturday within the next month or two, if, if possible. Obviously, it's up to uh, consider er, consideration. Possible dates. I just put that up. Hypothetical, of course. Yeah. But, um, so then you're probably wondering what the cost is. So according to online, or on this thing, the total entire project will be about $400. But the cost per unit would be 15 11 And that's kind of what the birdhouse cost will be. It's there's plus shipping and everything. So the total birdhouse cost would be about 302 point three nine. And then this would be also for food and miscellaneous as well. Um, I feel that if the Boy Scouts would like to come out and donate their time and stuff, that we could maybe be able to um, feed us or feed them, and as well as stuff like that. $10? You know, that's no. that's all right. That's um, <laughs> that's for screws and nails. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> yeah, that'd be, that'd be awesome. I would love that. Yeah. Oh, exactly. Yeah. You have to add a couple zeros. Oh, exactly. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. So that cost would be about eighty-six, eighty-seven, potentially about that. So then that is that. However, now you're probably wondering how are we going to fund this project. That's always a big iffy or a big consideration. So we have potentially three options. The first option is an option. Obviously, it's not one. Um, obviously, if we want to do it, we can, but directly funded by the Conservation Commission. Obviously, we don't, you know, it's not set in stone or anything, but just an option. Yep. The second option is we actually bring in local businesses, and they actually will be to, or they'll be willing to pay a donation of $20. And with their twenty dollars, they'll actually get their business name put on the birdhouse. And how that would happen is, there's a great tool that I used to use at the high school. It's like a wood burner tool. You can actually burn into the wood some letters and stuff. I, I did that with chairs. I did that with designs when I was back there. So that's one. That's the second option. And then the third option is similar to the business one, but it involves donations from the public and say, oh, family of so-and-so would like to donate this or that as well. Tax deductible. So that's basically the, the idea of the project. Sounds like a good project. Yeah. Yeah. Just to let you know, over to uh, Moore's Falls, we used to have bluebird houses over there. They kind of fell in disrepair. Yeah, we made new ones. And that would be an excellent spot to put some more of those up over there. Yeah. Definitely, yeah. Uh, some questions. Um, sure. You would have to make sure that you had the right size holes in the bird boxes so that they, whatever bird you want to attract. And then um, maybe some follow up of who's going to maintain the boxes because in the spring, like February type spring, they need to be cleaned out and bleached. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I, was, I don't know how much budget we have left. I think we have quite a bit left. I don't know if we could, we could probably earmark some money mm-hmm. towards it, I'm thinking. If we have some left, then... Uh, <clears throat> I think we do. I'm sure, I'm sure we do. What kind of wood are these made out of? Um, from what I was told, I think it's either cedar or pine, but yeah, that might be... Mm-hmm. Yeah, it would be a big difference there because cedar would hold up a lot better. Yeah, there's a lot longer, better duration, sure, yeah. life expectancy out of it. Mm. So these come all pre-cut, you just have to nail them together? Yeah, they're basically assembled kits. I'm not assembled, but kits they're, assembled. they're kits, that's right. Mm-hmm. And did the, did you, did you, could you tell from the pictures they have online, can you get them open to clean them on yes, the side? Yes, that's right. They actually, the front part actually will open yeah, up. Yeah, that's a big um, feature, There might be, feature. sorry, let me just go back to... Um, one of the pictures might have it open. Whoops, sorry. Um, whoops, not that one. All right, well, one of them, I guess. But yeah, that front panel is supposed to come up mm-hmm. or come up and do that. Harry. How are the birdhouses going to be attached? Are they going to put on poles, put hung from trees? Or That's a good question. Good question. Um, 
I would say would maybe trees. However, I I do know that in with, by working with the um, New Hampshire Audubon Society, they prefer poles as well. So that might be um, so trees would be the first one, but I understand that I think poles might have to be a little better, especially for the bluebirds because they want to be at the edge of a field. We we had a good location where they were, but like Roger said, they're pretty decrepit now. Um, mm -hmm. And poles would be the preferred. Um, the road agent might be a good resource there for poles. Okay. What I use at my house, I have a number of bird houses on my house. I use a uh, three-quarter inch steel conduit pipe. You buy them, and I think I think they're ten foot lengths, and they're easy enough to put in the ground. And that's what I attach the the house to. I use like a a U clamp. Yeah. And it works real well. Mm -hmm. Ballpark number? What are you talking? Oh, you can buy a bundle of that for thirty bucks. Yeah. Oh, that's good. Hmm. Have you talked to the um, Boy Scout troop at all? I'm in. I'm usually in weekly contact with them, so I can definitely. If if this is a project that we would like to pursue, I can definitely talk to them and see if they uh, would like to what pursue. What do you think? What do you think is a project we want to pursue? I think it'd be a nice. I think it would be. I think it'd be very good. It's, you know, it shows good presence in town. Yeah. Well, sure. you know, our new members and uh, you know it shows good intent. Can we look into instead of using steel poles, maybe using PC. PCB. Yeah, the PVC. problem with plastic is it's too flexible. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, not if you, because I've set up a couple of them in my house. But, but do you paint it, or is it white, or? I, what it's white. It's white. I get bluebird houses, and it, I'm talking. Bigger than half inch, you know. Yeah. How do you but the only reason is if you use steel, it's going to start rusting on you. Yeah, but they're, they're, it's all galvanized. It's galvanized, so, a galvanized yeah, conduit. You know, it would be longer here than what we Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah I was just going to say. Yeah, and, and what, what's nice about the, uh, the, the, the rigid uh, steel poles is you, you can use a driver and drive them in, whereas with, with your, your plastic ones, you really got to kind of dig a hole and then set them up. Yeah. <coughs> just a thought. Yeah. Yep. We have a we have a driver, don't we? Jack does. I have. Jack one. does. We have yeah. one, yeah, okay. Yeah. So we have one available. Is what we're saying anyhow. Mm -hmm. So one way or another, we'd have a yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. No, I think that uh, I think would be very good. I think we could find a way to do the yeah. do the funding. We'll check our own resources and see where that stands right now. But uh, the other part, if we did, we're able to get people involved and in, you know putting that a few dollars into it, it would just show a little more interest in reference to you know cons being concerned about what's going on in town. Plus, you, you know, you can put them on the properties and, you know, our, our properties. That, yeah. You know, mm -hmm. I think that's... Um, yeah, that's what they'd be going on our properties, yeah. basically. Mm -hmm. yeah. we got, we do, yeah. You know, it depends on what you want to track, but, you know, Parker Park down at the um, intersection of Pinecrest and 3A is a good location, too, for, for bluebirds. I've seen bluebirds quite a few places. Um, yeah, I think it's a real good idea. Yeah, good. So, Jack, why don't you go ahead and do some... Double checking on all your aspects of it and see what we can go from there. Sure, yeah. yeah. I'll check the budget. Can he um, can he advertise on the What's Up page as far as um, the, the business and the people interested? To yeah, I think I think that might be a good. Yeah, yeah, that'd be a good. To get thing. it going. Yeah. 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 Right. Just see sure. what kind of interest. You know, who knows? You might get the funding out of that. With uh, you know, what are we having to dig into the our own, our own finances? Yeah, like the box is good. You know, who might donate? Oh, I'm sure there'd be a lot of people, right. businesses that would donate. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 True. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Good point. Didn't we have? Um, didn't we invest in? Um, I'm trying to remember. Was it bat boxes? Well, we have. I was going to bring that up. We have a bat box that I think is still in the storage room. That's a really big one, metal, that needs a location and it needs to be put up. I think it's still back there. Um, and it was bought several years ago. So, you know, what? When we pick a day to go out and look at these. Um, Properties, we need to find a location near water for this bath box. Yes, me near water. <clears throat> Preferably for the, close for to the food water. side. For the food mm -hmm. side. Streams mm -hmm. or a pond. Yeah. Very good. Thank you, Jack, for the input. It's, yeah, it's good. So, is this a project we'd like to pursue? Maybe? I think so, yeah. Like you so, like, yeah. like just said, if you could put that on the What's Up, was that what you call that thing? Yeah, on the sure, internet? What's up, yeah. And uh, just look for funding, see if you know, looking for, for help with the project. And, sure, yeah. And, uh, 
and can, you could, I think you would emphasize the fact in conjunction with the help of the Boy Scouts and, mm -hmm. and so on, just once you get it cleared with the Boy Scouts. And, yeah. Oh, exactly. Yeah. That way they might get a little more interest mm -hmm. just because the Boy Scouts are also involved and uh, a good and partner the, with someone else. And the weekend that they work on it, you know, we, some of us could probably show up and. Mm -hmm. Exactly, that's yeah. what I was It thinking. would be a good liaison between mm -hmm. the two groups. Mm -hmm. That's right, exactly. Very good. So, if they're made out of cedar, you wouldn't want to paint them, but if they're, no. if they're pine, you probably would want to paint them. Um, but Birds don't, some of the birds don't like paint. I don't know if you'd want to paint them at all. I'd check a lot about it. I don't think you'd want to paint them. Yeah. The biggest thing, though, is to get the, the size hole correct. Yeah. Mm -hmm. that, you know, make so, sure that the So if it's different size holes, when he'd be doing the order, he'd be ordering, like, hypothetically, X number for the bluebird and X number for the... Yeah, if you wanted mm -hmm. chickadees or... Yeah. At $15 a piece, I kind of doubt they're cedar. Yeah. Cedar's pretty too. expensive. Yeah. But where are they coming from, did you Washington. say? Yeah, Washington. Washington State. Yeah, so they might be. Mm. They might be, yeah. They mm. have a lot of cedar. Maybe have somebody access to it through a... Uh, they might be able to do some of the product, and that's a byproduct. Mm. So if we have money in the budget, could, we could donate, say, $100 to get it started? Oh, yeah. Or I mean, we'll see how much we, we have. Would, we'd just be... Yeah, seed money, $100. But it wouldn't be a quote-unquote donation, because it's our project. Right, right. Yeah, but... Uh, yeah, I can see no reason why not. Okay, well. I could email you all, like, uh, by Monday, what we have in there. Good, good. Meeting with Hillsborough County Extension, Co-op Extensions, yeah, Rock Bay Town on Parcels. I should mention the granite system. So the granite system is a UNH um, GIS system that, that um, catalogs all the all the land, town-owned land, state-owned land catalogs. So I'm meeting with this guy tomorrow. They're trying to update Hillsborough and Rockingham County. Um, so previously I had sent the former guy that was working on it, all the town-owned and a lot of actually state-owned too, and the book and page and everything. So we're going to go over tomorrow to um, see what he wants as far as updating. They have most of our data, but I guess they just want to verify everything, get it correct in the granite system. And you can go on, um, you can Google granite. It's quite a powerful tool. Hmm. It's nice. Mm -hmm. So that's all I have on that. Uh, the business, we have a dot, then we have rainfall report after Oh, the I had dot. something else about <laughs> Morris Falls. We forgot to put Morris Falls in here. We always have something about Morris Falls. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, the Eagle Scout has installed the plaque the posts and the plaques, and he just has to get the laminated pieces on top. They, I guess they did a lot of work last week, and they sunk them in cement. And I forget how many he had, I think five up. They stained the kiosk. Um, they need to get in one side of it to clean it out, but um, they've done a lot of work up there. And they, I guess they did, I don't know if they put the post around the cellar hole of the, the, um. Keeper, gatekeeper? The, um, yeah, the lock tender's lock tender. cellar hole. But that was a plan. And, uh, Did so you take me, me to that one day? Like, probably. I, I was actually there. I was coming back from the conference, and I saw him there, and I pulled in. Oh, good. I just thought I'd say hi, and it looked good. He just finished uh, re retouching up the uh, kiosk there, and he was locked out of that one yeah, on the left. The There's a lot side. of hornet's nests in there and a lot of debris from that. Find the key in to there. that. Or it looks great. It's, it's coming along really, really nicely. They said they, they, so they stained it and they have to just touch up the letters on the top with white. Mm -hmm. And um, so that's like. Is there mm -hmm. any blowdowns down there from the, from the windstorm? Actually, his mom, Luana, um, sawed, chainsawed one. She texted me and um, a few, couple weeks ago, they chainsawed one out of the way. And I don't, they didn't say anything about any more blowdowns um, across the trail, at least. I haven't been down there in a while. So that's moving along. That's all I had on that. Roger, how's your rainfall? <clears throat> oh, <laughs> I remembered them today. Yeah. So the September total was 7.9 inches. Oh. That was for September. That was for the month of September, yeah. And then for the month of October, we had 14.7 inches. Wow. We had... Um, Five inches on the uh, the 30th, just that that, that, that storm. one storm. Right, that, that one storm. storm yeah. <clears throat> so that should help us in our 
deficit. That's for sure. Mm -hmm. Good. Mm -hmm. While well, we're talking about water, what's the latest on the Fenichart project? Do we hear anything? I haven't heard anything this month. Yeah. Uh, I might be able to answer that for you. Okay. <laughs> I attended the Lower Merrimack River Valley, uh, no, Valley the Lower Merrimack River uh, Local Advisory Committee meeting the other night, and uh, Penetrack was there. Mm -hmm. um, they've changed their what they're going to do as far as the. Um, um, Putting it, doing the drilling in, into the river. Yeah. Um, they're not going to be doing the horizontal drilling as they originally proposed. Wait a minute. They're not going to do the under the river drilling. Right. It's the, they originally they, what they wanted to do when they wanted to take the water out is they wanted to do um, a horizontal. Well, there's two. Wait a minute. There's, there's two, two projects. projects. There's the one to take the water out. There's one to come across the river to Litchfield. Yeah. There's the one that there's the new the new take the water out. Yeah. And that wasn't going to be horizontal drilling. That was just putting the. They're going to put coffer dams in. That's well, they're going to put coffer well, dams on the Litchfield right. side yeah. while they're doing this. Right. So, the pipe to come across Litchfield to to bring the water across to Litchfield was going to be horizontal drilling under the till they got to the right. bedrock. Right. right. Is that still? No. What are they going to do? They're going to put in, or they're going to put in coffer dams. Well, they were going to do that anyway. Okay. On the uh, side. No, they weren't. The 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 originally they they were going to do. Some kind of horizontal drilling where they're going to put bring divers in and they're going to go under or whatever. Yeah. However, and then daylight it. it by when they couldn't get through the granite and then right. come up. But they realized that that there was issues with that because by doing that, they would cause um, a stir in the river, so it would make it you know it would uh, bring up. Uh, sediment and, and just it, it would be a mess. Mm -hmm. Well, it would bring so, up sediment probably from the 60s. Yeah, well. so <laughs> they decided well, early, they yeah. went back and they decided well, what we're going to do is we're going to put like coffer dam into the uh, into the river mm -hmm. and basically they're only temporary um, things so that basically they can go in and do what they have to do putting in the pipe or whatever mm -hmm. yeah. and then they're going to take those dams out mm -hmm. when they're so finished. So is the pipe just going to lay on the bed bottom then of the river? Supposedly. I, I don't know. It's They said it's just it's going to, they're just going to put the, the coffer dams in and they're going to take them out. And um, that's they think that's a better way of doing it um, in terms of um, the impact to the river, essentially. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, because they were talking about laying the pipe on the river bottom, as Joan just alluded to, and then yeah. they were talking about putting some kind of a, some kind of a concrete buffer, buffer over it so that nothing could actually destroy the pipe or damage the pipe. Right. That was part of the original presentation, but right. we haven't heard any more. So I, just, so I just was curious if anybody did have any Well, they've, they've, they've gone to Merrimack, mm -hmm. um, and I think they had a presentation with Merrimack. I suspect they're going to be coming back Mm -hmm. uh, before this board and probably the planning board mm -hmm. at some point. Yeah. When, um, so has this, has this delayed the project? Um, sort of. I think it's, um, it's definitely going to put a little bit of a, a, little, a little kink in the... Uh, you know. I thought they were going to do it this fall. Yeah, yeah that's what I had heard too. Yeah. Um, of course the river, the river I mean, I, I would expect that they would have wanted to do it when the river was down, but which it was down. Yeah. And now it's up but so now high. It's up, yeah. right. it's up kissing the trees. Yeah, I think they're, they're not going to, they're only going to do it during certain times because mm -hmm. the, they only go in there because the river herring come in at a certain time of year, so they can't do it then. They can't do it in the spring. So they can't do it in the spring, so it's got to be around probably the summer. Summer, summer. yeah, when the water's low. Yeah. Um, hmm. But yeah, they they have changed the, what they're going to do in terms of uh, getting the pipe in mm -hmm. to the river. Um, yeah, because there's going to be a new intake, and then there's going to be the new crossing over. Right, the and line. I think there's going to be they're going to be cutting down trees on the other side. Or something on well, the Merrimack side. That's the eagle roosting side. No, yeah. Well, <laughs> this is what I heard. You have I, to talk to eagles. And yeah. Mm -hmm. So uh, I don't know how that's going to work. Um, I don't know how much of an impact that's going to be. Because um, they did say you would see if you're going down the river, you would see the building or whatever the facility. Mm -hmm. um, which, which facility? The, the yeah. one for the water for the intake. Well, you can see the intake. Well, you can see the the intake. Yeah. The, yeah. The, the intake right. and, and the little. What's next to it? They used to store chlorine in there. Oh, they yeah. convert that over to a booster pump station to push water across the river. Yeah, because that's right on the river, that little yeah. building. And uh, the sewage treatment plant owns the tree line over there, if I right. remember right. Right. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, I don't think yeah. Trees and stuff like that. Well, there's a big, big pine trees further north. I think go into Budweiser's yeah. property. So yeah, that's that's what's happening so far with uh, mm, interesting. Good. Thanks for the update. Yeah. Other items for review or discussion. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm an update. Uh, it is made of cedar. Okay. And the hole is one and three eighths. Check my paperwork. Mm -hmm. That's not a bad price for a cedar. Mm -hmm. no. I said it's probably an offshoot of some yeah. somebody that does a lot of cedar scrap, stuff. And it's, probably yes. a scrap yeah, yeah. It's probably a scrap division, which yeah. Mm -hmm. good. That's very good. I just uh, had one other thing. So um, tomorrow, since I don't have school, I was thinking of going to the high school and talking to the science department about the conservation. I core. think they're off tomorrow. They are. Oh, they do have it off tomorrow. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, all right. I'll because I haven't been able to find the email for the uh, for the science department for the teachers there. But I also had uh, one other task for it that I was considering. I got in contact with the um, police chief, and I was thinking of like an area where we could help. Because I was kind of inspired by the um, the emergency response that came out of. Uh, the windstorm that we had in early October, and he mentioned that if they, if the police department could have uh, volunteers on hand if somebody went missing in the woods or something like that, a lost child or something, maybe we, that could be like a, mm -hmm. a function so that if pe people who are interested in that as well as being on the core could um, be on call for that if they needed extra people to go. Well, now that we, people. you know, communication is so much better than it was yeah, in ago. my memory. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, you know, you can, by a touch of a button, you can get a whole group, alert a whole group mm -hmm. of, of people. That's why I want to get, you know, this um, conservation corps just in one email so that yeah, you so can uh, send it out to everybody. Send it out to everybody, yeah. Mm -hmm. well, that's a good idea, too, though. Okay. Yeah. As a resource, right? Mm -hmm. And then, you know, it could give the police department the email addresses and they could, you know, who's ever available, try to. Yeah, because that's a good idea because a lot of us know these woods quite well. Exactly. I just wanted to see if there was like any way where like our specialty or our um, expertise could come to the assistance of other agencies yeah. in town. And I felt good and point. he did bring that up as being one where we could help. So mm -hmm. I thought that would be a good idea. Good idea. That's good. Okay, minutes. Now, did we? Did he was he able to get this? No. no. Um, um, Richard emailed that he would try to get the minutes, but right. he didn't think he would get to them, so we'd have no minutes to. The lost in cyberspace. Mm. We're, we're up. We're up to date, except for October. Anything else this evening? Mm. No. What's happening with our change of our meeting dates? Is that? I haven't heard any more. Probably won't. Ha nothing will happen until January. So that's a good point. What do we want to do for December? We want to go back to the first Thursday. Would be December seventh. I would think so. That's where you know, that was our kind of our traditional date. But yeah. Uh, and then if we in January we have to change, we'll change. I guess that's yeah. all. Why December. is it that we have to change? Why can't they change? Cause, cause they because use they want to use. Well, they can use it another day. <laughs> I'm with, I'm with you. Meeting in this, at this time. Yes. Yeah. 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 On, on the first Thursday ever. The school board meets holiday. Wednesdays, mm -hmm. and it was the budget committee in, in budget season w meets every Thursday. Every Thursday, yeah. So, and and because they updated the video and TV here, it's much better quality than at the school. That's the reason. But I haven't heard any more about it. So um, the town administrator said nothing probably happened before January. So go with December 7th for our next meeting? I would say so. Okay. All set. Mm -hmm. yeah. okay. Marion? Mr. Chairman, I move we... I was going to let her do it. She already started it once tonight, but you go ahead. Did you want to make that motion? <laughs> I'm going to make a motion that we adjourn the meeting. Okay, Roger, you want to second it? I will second it. Okay, moved and seconded. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Abstained? Thank you. Yeah. <laughs>